didn't uh, tell anybody about what happened last night, did you? It wouldn't matter if I had. You're a grown up. Or close enough. Did you? I didn't say anything definite. I may have hinted a little. Hinted? Why do they need hints? This isn't charades. What if one of them tells Phil? Phil Schmill. Phil Schmill? That isn't very nice. That isn't very sensitive at all. Oscar, please. Phil and I are not an item. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's no smoke. Right. Forget about Phil. Diane, I'd like to ask you not to come to dinner tonight. Not go to Cafe Baloo? Are you kidding? Your father's paying. I want to minimize the likelihood of your blabbing to Eve. Maybe you've already told Eve. Haven't even seen Eve yet. Yet? Do you plan to tell her? Oscar, Eve and I grew up together. <laughs> Stories I could tell you about Eve when we were 15. You wouldn't have recognized her. I don't want to hear it. When we were 15, Eve had this thing for Elvis. Elvis Presley? Mm -hmm. Flip for any guy in sideburns. Sideburns? What's so great about sideburns? I don't know. Strangest things made her happy. She was always happy back then. Back then? Are you saying now she isn't? No, I, that wasn't my intention. She, look, you know what? Let's just forget it. No, I shouldn't have said anything. We can't just forget it. We're talking about Eve's happiness here. I guess I can confide in you. We're close now, right? In a manner of speaking. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think Eve is happy. There's a void. Something's missing. What makes you say that? It's a woman thing. I sense it. I feel it. <laughs> Plus, last week she said there was a void and something was missing. Did she say what? Couldn't put her finger on it.